Hey there, it's Evan from devisun.com. In this video, I'm gonna be covering image component and image optimizations, uh, which is brand new in Next.js. Now, of course, you've always been able to optimize images, but now Next.js has a built-in component that you can use right out of the box to optimize your images and improve performance of your Next.js app. And just to clarify, this is only available in Next.js 10, which just came out as I'm recording this video. So if you're using any previous versions, then you won't be able to use this image component. Um, however, if you are using Next.js version 10 or above, then you will be able to use this component. So I'm actually going to head over to Visual Studio Code, and I have a basic Next.js app I have created. We're going to be testing out the new image component, and we're also going to compare that to just using standard image tags, and we're going to see exactly what it does and how it's improving our performance. So let's go ahead and create the standard image tag here. I'm going to set the source equal to nature.jpg, which is just a photo that I got off of Unsplash. And now we're going to go ahead and add a couple things here. The first is going to be width. We're going to set to 190 and we're going to set the height equal to 120. And as standard, you should always add an alt tag. And I'm just going to say mountain plane. And now if I head over to my browser, we're going to see on the right here that we have our image. And if I open up the network tab in our dev tools, we can see a couple things here we see our image the type which is jpeg and the size which is 6.8 megabytes in next.js 10.0 we can now use a image component that is built right into next.js and the way we use that is we're going to import image from next slash image okay so now let's go ahead and add that image component which we can do like so and then we're going to add the source which again is going to be our nature.jpg file we're going to set the width equal to 190 the height equal to 100 20 and the alt equal to mountain plane. And so in terms of props, we have the exact same setup here. It's pretty similar. Now let's go ahead and go back to our browser. And now when we load the page, let's look at our images here. So we see the first image that we saw before, which was a JPEG, 6.8 megabytes in size. However, now we can see our new image component, which is this right here. And you'll notice the type is WebP and the size is only 5.1 kilobytes. So as you can see, Next.js converted this image to a WebP file type. Now, if you're unfamiliar with WebP, about 26% smaller in size compared to regular PNG images, and WebP lossy images are about 25 to 34% smaller compared to JPEG images. It's a very good format for the web, allowing you to optimize and help better your performance of your website. Okay, so let's go back to our image component that we just imported here. Now, of course, I have these four props here, but there's some key things to note here. The width and height props are are required unless the unsized prop is true, which if you want to use unsized, all you have to do is type unsized if you want to set unsized to true. And basically when you use the unsized prop, you can bypass using the width and height props, but this is not really recommended to use on images that are above the fold of your website. And this should not be used with the priority prop, which when you have the priority prop here, this prop will tell next to consider this image a high priority and it will preload the image. And it's not a good idea to use these above the fold on your website. And it's much better to predefine your width and height. And the reason it's important to specify the width and height and the reason Next.js makes these props required is to prevent cumulative layout shift. And if you're not familiar with cumulative layout shift or CLS for short, this basically describes the unexpected movement whenever some sort of image or resource is loaded and it shifts other things down. So maybe you were on a website and and you meant to click a button, but because an image didn't load yet and it shifted everything down, you accidentally clicked the wrong button. Well, Google's actually going to start having that affect your SEO in a negative way if you don't specify beforehand what the resource height and width are gonna be. Because as you can see in this example that's showing on the screen here, it's not a good user experience for people. Uh, you tend to run into a lot of problems, especially with accessibility, which is why Google will actually start docking you if you are not using best practice practices, such as making sure you pre-specify your width and height to prevent cumulative layout shift. Also, there is a quality prop 
and you can set this anywhere between one and 100, 100 being the best possible quality. Now by default, Next.js sets this to 75. However, just to show you an example, if I set the quality to one, which is the worst possible quality, but the best performance, if we go back to our website and I refresh the page, it may be hard to see on the video, but the quality is significantly worse now on the image. However, the file size is now incredibly small at just 960 bytes. The next property is the loading property. Now by default, this is set to lazy, which means the browser is going to defer loading the image until it reaches a calculated distance from the viewport. However, you can set this to eager and it will load the image immediately no matter where you are on the web page. Anything that you're using under the fold of your website, it's really best just to leave it lazy because the user isn't going to see it immediately. So in my opinion, there's no real point to preloading the image unless there's a specific use case and where you absolutely need to. But if you need it to be set to eager, then you can of course use that property. And lastly, you can use the unoptimized property, which will just serve the image as is and it won't resize or change the quality. Not really a recommended property to use in my opinion, but it is there if you want it. And yeah, that pretty much covers the new image component inside of Next. Again, this is only available in version 10.0. So any previous version of Next will not have this image component. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or you could join the DevSend Discord server and either myself or someone else will be able to help you out there. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.